So just add some realizations about the Bashar free energy device and what I call next gen physics. And I just remembered I talked about this before in one of these audios, gotta find it. So so yeah, so if you look at Bashar's like free energy device, the the look into it, the two interlocking um, coils that Bashar's designed. If you just Google search free Bashar's free energy device on images, you'll see. And so, so what I've realised, what we've realised, me and my friend here, um, helped me realise this, is like, so, so if you imagine negative and positive and the idea of resonance, yeah, the, the idea that everything resonates, everything is frequency, and so frequency, a frequency wave, a sine wave, I believe, has a high and a low point, a positive and a negative, and that's just it. Like it's resonating between positive and negative all the time, and that creates frequency. And you can kind of imagine your own frequency. If you imagine a line going through the center of yourself from your crown to your to your feet, and either side on the left and right of you, like imagine it as po po negative and positive, which of course is exactly what we are, because we have a negative and positive polarity in our brain, a, a feminine side and a masculine side to our brain feminine right masculine left i believe and so so if you imagine this there's a line going right down between the centers of the hemispheres of your brain almost like when you walk into like luxor temple in egypt which some some people believe symbolizes this you could you you are in the square in the middle of your vibrational frequency you're so so this is your center point like bashar says come back to center you know meditators say become centered so you're becoming centered in the balance between the positive and the frequency and our frequency is constantly resonating left and right left right left right left right left right left right, left, right and this is what creates our vibrational frequency and if we're like angry we're in a low vibrational frequency and if we're in bliss we're in a high vibrational frequency and so how this ties in with the bashar's free energy device is that you've got the 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 torsion field is it the torsion field like a tor the torus like you see this in some of the like look at spiritual artwork you can see that um, where, where they have these like torus like this donut shape around the body and you're seeing energy flow in this like toroidal field to the right and to the left and my friend says like squarely in the center of that is like where positive and negative balance and this is what i'm saying so so what's creating so so like our energy body is like a toroidal energy field and this is our resonance and it re resonates to the positive and the negative back and forth and back and forth and so bashar's free energy device is designed to capture this frequency and turn it into free energy and so the idea is that we get this free energy device and and as an example, Bashar says we can also use this for healing. So if we take one of these Bashar energy devices, the idea is that we need to place it within, we, we need to first of all sit down, meditate, get an erect spine and go into a high frequency state of meditation so that our positive negative is, is in a balanced, harmonized resonance. And then place Bashar's free energy device square in the middle, like not up and down, I would say left and right, um, with the cores pointing out, so that we are... In it, so it's in resonance with the left and right hemispheres of the brain and we're resonating in and out or, or my friends just pointed at me and say actually it should be up and down so we'll, we'll have to research this <laughs> and so yeah and so basically you've got it square it's the divine ecliptic <laughs> he's telling me it's cosine. It's cosine cosine Looking at the shape of the tor torus from a, a higher di dimension, it, it appears as a cosine. So looking at the, the look, yeah, looking at the shape of a torus from a higher dimension, is it appears as a cosine. So that's the way. Yeah. So you get this square in the middle of the energy field, and the idea is that we have to make it resonate at the same frequency as we want one to affect. So, so if we're designing one of these to use for healing work, for heart chakra healing, for example, I can imagine this would be brilliant for heart energy activation. Um, we need to create a device that will resonate on a similar frequency or similar or same frequency as our heart and if we want to like create a free energy device and like tap an earth chakra point like at stonehenge or something or glastonbury tour we would take the free energy device up there and we would try and locate the center of the vortex the center of the the balance point of the of the resonance and line the free energy your money will make it. <laughs> and, and, li and line the energy line the energy up with with the um, with the torus field so that it's balancing so that set so that the center of the torus field of glastonbury tor is aligned to the center of the balance point in the middle of the free energy bashar's free energy device and so the secret is what we've got to discover we've got to discover how to um enable the, the device to resonate at the same frequency as glastonbury tor and how to get the the device to resonate at the same frequency as the heart chakra so let me know what you think, guys. Leave a comment in the box below. Shabai. Bye.